So smart control. Let's wait for this app. Uh, so again, so do I have to click the smart control button no, every time I start up? Well, there's two things that are going on because I'm using the uh, indoor control. Yeah. So I'm using uh, all share or essentially Bluetooth. Uh, if I can also use outdoor control, which would basically use the internet uh, to control the washer dryer. So when I do the outdoor control, I do not have to uh, hit this or this can be powered off and then I'll essentially it'll turn on by itself. Well, so can I just leave it on outdoor control all the time? Yes. The reason that I don't do it is what happens is the machine gets paired directly to that customer and then you actually have to contact the uh, uh, the database in order to unregister that name from it. So forwarding these demos in stores would be... Oh. Um, but with the outdoor control, I can, like I said, be leaving work and start my washing machine at, uh, at any time. Can you also tell it to run at 3 o'clock, say, so that when you get home, you can move it to um, the dryer? It does, ha it does have delay start on it, 24-hour yeah. delay start on it. Uh, but with this uh, smart control, essentially, I have a delay start at my fingertips. I can start it and stop it whenever I want it. But it does have a delay start. You can set, certainly set it up to start at a certain time. The beauty of this is the flexibility, you know, whether it's traffic, whether it's staying late after work or whatever the case may be, uh, I have the full control over it. So as I select, for example, a normal wash cycle here, normal wash cycle is selected on my control panel. If I change it into heavy duty on my cell phone, it changed heavy duty and as well uh, all the, uh, the cycle time and all the presets uh, have also uh, switched. So right now I'm in active wear, so I have full, full control over this. And then you just hit start, and away you go. So hopefully this will uh, uh, reduce some of the chore time that we have at home in order to uh, in order to uh, to get our, our, our you know our chores done with with this uh, flexible smart control. You don't have to be home to actually start your laundry or to to know how much time is left on it. So uh, hopefully it'll take a little bit of workload off of uh, off of us throughout our, our weeks and, and months. So when it's done, will mm -hmm. it? How does it tell your phone that it's done? There's a notification uh, on there, so, so when a, you... alert will, will go off, as so well as the the uh, the app will turn on again. So uh, so you mean like like when you, you mean like when you pull down, it'll tell you you're done. Yeah, because what happens is as the wash time goes on, uh, this bar will will move uh, closer to the end. No, but I mean like let's just say you're using a different app. Will it show up here? Yes. Yeah, it'll notify you. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll it'll turn. Uh, Can it turn email you? Here. Uh, no, it'll just notify you through the AllShare app okay. or the Smart Washer app. Okay. Depending on uh, which phone you use. Now, also the unique thing that we've introduced was Smart Care. So, with with these particular models, we do have the LCD screens on here that uh, that tell us what the issues are. So, for example, here earlier on, I tried to create an error code, and uh, so the washing machine. Uh, so see, I get notified on my cell phone that there's an error, so the, the, uh, the washer door has been opened. Close it and press uh, start again, and then that same message appears on my LCD control oh, panel. So when I close it, then? Then it would start up again. Will it tell you if you, on, if on the dryer will it side, will it tell you if you haven't changed your lint filter in no while? Uh, um, it will not, there is a uh, alarm on here, yeah. uh, which tells you to, to, to uh, clean the filter out, yeah. uh, but that is on the, on the uh, washing machine essentially. Okay. Now the interesting is, as I mentioned, uh, these particular models have the LCD screen, so if there are any error codes, they would automatically pop up on the LCD screen. With some of our lower end models that don't have uh, the screens, essentially what they do is they create a QR code. I can use my app to scan the QR code with my phone. But it'll also tell you on your, your phone what the error is, right? Yes. So you It'll give you some troubleshooting suggestions. No, I mean, if you don't take a picture of the QR code, will it tell, still tell you, tell your phone what's going on? Uh, no, because uh, with those with these ones, yes, with the LCD screen models, yes. But with the models that don't have the LCD screen, you, you do have to uh, scan the code to uh, to figure out what the error code means. Oh. And with that, it'll give you some troubleshooting suggestions. And then essentially, if you can't fix the if you can't fix it uh, uh, with the, with the suggestions that it's offering, at the bottom of it, it'll connect you directly to a Samsung. So uh, service department. Uh -huh. Now our hopes in this is it'll certainly reduce a lot of wait time, especially for customers that are living on some of the uh, outskirts where they might have to wait three, four days for to, to get a service guy out there. And a lot of times it could be a very minor issue. Hopefully we can reduce some of those service calls where the, the app or the machine will tell the customer, you know what, unplug the washer, plug it back in. Hopefully that'll um, reset it. Uh, whether it's an error code on the door, same kind of deal. You can just, uh, it'll tell you to.